If you're anywhere between these major roads of Highway 78, Interstate 26, and Highway 176 towards Monk's Corner, start taking action now. Tropical Storm Ada does still pose a threat to the Gulf Coast, but exactly where that's going to be is still a question. We're starting to experience stronger and stronger wind gusts bringing some power outages and trees down throughout local neighborhoods. The tropical storm symbol has reached northern Alabama, and this long line of severe thunderstorms is just to the east of Okaloosa County. Based off this reflectivity, this is a radar-indicated tornado. Grab some hot chocolate, grab some coffee, some tea, whatever you like to drink to keep you warm. But look at that over in Biloxi, 43 mile per hour winds right now. So either way, you're stuck with the rain or the heat. You unfortunately can't get rid of both of them. You do not want to leave any pets outside. They get just as cold as we do and also protect those plants and pipes. They aren't used to this cold weather either. Orange Beach City officials told me that the damage from Hurricane Sally at Sportsman's Marina was absolutely devastating and that's due to the combination of the strong winds and the storm surge. It will also bring 10 to 20 inches of rain with up to 30 inches possible in some areas. If you can find a waterfall in Mobile, let me know because this guy looks like he's having a great time out there. Good evening, Gulf Coast. I'm meteorologist Jenna Petrassi here with your Atmos Center forecast for this evening, starting off with a live look down at Fairhope Pier. Beautiful evening, and if you look closely all the way up here, you can sort of see that stunning sunset that's happening over Mobile Bay right now. Overall, a great evening to watch the sun go down, and the temperature is pretty nice, 55 degrees in clear conditions. For today, we're going to be talking about this beautiful weather we're having, but when you wake up tomorrow morning, there will be some fog, and there will be some chances of rain in your weekend plans and I'm going to break that all down for you in just a few moments but starting off with your local temperatures 55 in Fairhope 62 in Mobile and 69 up in Jackson for this evening we're going to be cooling down to the 40s for a lot of our inland areas and 50s along the coast 49 in Mobile, 44 up in Jackson, and 45 in Atmore. Along Gulf Shore is 54 degrees and 58 in Pensacola. For radar, though, no rain in sight, and it's going to stay that way as we go into this evening. And that's because we're under a large area of dry air, and that dry air is this orange and red color responsible for keeping us in these pleasant conditions. However, at the very bottom of that dry air mass, there is a shallow moist layer, and that's causing a dense fog advisory for tomorrow until 9 a.m. for all of our viewing areas, all the way from Mississippi to the Florida Panhandle. So just be cautious out there on the roads tomorrow morning. For tomorrow, Friday, we're looking at clear conditions by 2 a.m., but then we're going to have those clouds and the fog start to pick up as we go into the early morning hours. We can see those clouds and moisture moving in from the Gulf, and we see the system coming in from the west. This will hit us on Saturday, bringing some chances of scattered thunderstorms and showers along this cold front, and that cold front will be passing Saturday afternoon, bringing just a little bit of a cool down. So for tonight, go out and enjoy that sunset while it lasts. It's honestly looking pretty close to what this is looking like. Overall, beautiful picture, and you can see it for yourself right outside. 5 p.m., we're at 63 degrees by 7, dropping to the mid-50s, and it's going to stay that way till 9 p.m. as well, with a 0% chance of rain all evening long. So for your next seven days, here's what we're looking at. Foggy conditions tomorrow morning with a high temperature of 71 degrees. We're going to put it at a 50% chance of rain on Saturday, and those rain chances will diminish as we go into the work week with temperatures in the upper 50s to low 60s.